What'd you do, jog over here? We were up in the attic of your model. It's like a sauna up there. It's funny that you said that. That's what we call it, the sauna. Well, don't you think you could put in a window or a fan? Maybe ventilate it somehow? No, but we were thinking about installing some benches. Maybe a towel rack. Well, it definitely feels like a sauna up here, but that's not the feeling we're going for. We want to cool it down up in the attic during the summer, or else the hot air that builds up in here is actually going to work its way down through the insulation during the day and into the evening, and it's going to heat up the interior of our home, which means we're going to have to run the air conditioners more, and we're going to have higher utility bills. And you know you have a problem. If your ceilings start to turn yellow or they start to crack, that means you have some moisture build up in the attic because of the extreme temperature difference. Plus, it's also going to attract rodents who want to get to that water. So we need to keep it well ventilated up here. We're going to start with putting soffit vents around the perimeter of our house where the overhang is to let the cool air in. And then we're going to have attic vents like we have here to let the air out as it heats up to go outside. Let's take a look at the soffit vents right now. Now to let cool air up into your attic, you need soffit vents. These actually go on the overhang of your house. The overhang is actually called the soffit. You can see a vent in place right here. And what happens is the hot air is going to go out the top of your roof and the cool air is going to come in through these soffit vents. Now you need a lot of them on your house because the air does need to get up in there to cool it down. Now you also need to check that the insulation is not blocking this vent. If you take this vent down, you'll probably see a lot of insulation there where the builder got sloppy. You need to push that insulation back. They really should install baffles along the rafters or basically like foam that give a channel for the air to go up your rafter, but don't have a way for the insulation to come over the overhang. If you don't have baffles, you can make one yourself. You can even use cardboard or something. Just nail it up to your rafters to give this a clear channel where no insulation will get over the top. And you can tell this one's actually working because look here, we've actually got dirt on our vent and dirt does not fall up. So what that means is we are pulling cooler air up into our attic and occasionally we're getting some dirt on the vent. Don't worry about that part. Now you need a way for the air to get out, so let's go up on the roof and take a look at how that happens. Now normally in the summertime, the attic area is 30 to 40 degrees hotter than it is outside. The reason this attic is not that hot, it's the same temperature as outside, is due to all the ventilation that we have here. We've got our soffits around the perimeter to let cooler air in, but up top we've got a lot of different ways to let the hot air out. Now first and cheapest is the gravity vent right there. The air heats up, it goes high, it goes out that vent, cool air comes in behind it through the soffit vents along our overhangs. Behind the ridge over there, you can see the top of a turbine. We've got a few others on different parts of the house here. A turbine works off wind power. As the wind blows the turbine, it pulls that hot air out of the attic and lets it escape. Again, the cool air comes in through the soffit vents. A little more expensive than a gravity vent, but works great if you do have a breeze. Now, if you're somewhere where they have a lot of still days in the summertime, the solar vent is the answer. The solar vent has solar panels on top and a fan inside. Whenever the sun's out, that fan is turning inside and it's pulling all that hot air out of the attic, putting it out, bringing in cool air in the soft vents, so we know the attic is going to stay the same temperature as it is outside. If you do all of these things to keep your house as cool as possible up in the attic, you're going to have lower utility bills every month.